the driver's side with my Phillips head flashlight and needle nose flies. Thought I could handle this little breakdown till the door opened up and she stepped out. Tears welling up in her pretty blue eyes. All I could say was, honey, please don't cry. I'm a mechanic. I'm a mechanic. Here with Cameron at the Riverside High School mechanic shop, replacing new brake pads on a minivan. So, Cameron, what what do you uh, what what makes you a want to be a mechanic? Uh, what makes me want to be a mechanic is when I was a kid, I used to love cars a lot and like working on cars. Like I'm I'm a really hands-on person. I used to work on wood a lot and like mini like dirt bikes, stuff like that. And then when I came to Riverside, I took this class and I started to realize I liked cars more working on cars because I could work on a bunch of engines and learn lots of new things. And then so how I started to get more further into that, I went into co-op, into Jiffy Loop just to do maintenance, like simple things like check um, fluid levels on the car and, and oil changes. And then I decided to get more advanced into my work so I could learn more about engines. And so I went to um, Kenny's Auto Repair on Decumsey. And I co there for about like six months or so and I learned a lot of experience about it. Fantastic. Are you currently working uh, for any mechanic shop or Jiffy Lube or anything like that? Uh, no, not yet. I'm trying to in the summer. I'm trying to apply back to uh, Jiffy Lube again. And then so I can learn more from there, and then I can get further into the trades. So when you graduate, are you going to be a mechanic? or? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go into an apprenticeship, and then I'm going to try to get into a licensed mechanic place, so I'm able to, able to get my license, my red seal. Oh, fantastic. Thanks for this interview. No problem. All right, here with Jonathan, working on the opposite side of the minivan for brake work, replacing the pads. Uh, what makes you want to be a uh, mechanic, Jonathan? So, I'm using this as a kind of a second path. So I don't. I want to be a mechanic, but I don't at the same time. I prefer to do forestry personally myself. This is just a path I can fall back on, so I know all the skill knowledge already, so that when the time comes and I don't say I don't make it into it, I can fall back and actually know what I'm doing instead of just starting from scratch. And it's good to know about uh, mechanics for a vehicle in case you have a flat tire or yeah. brakes just are make, going. Just regular make maintenance also helps out. It's going to save me a bunch of money in the future. Work on my own car, doing tire, doing brakes, oil changes. It'll save me a lot of time and money. Absolutely. Thank you for your time. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. That is really wet. I should not be playing like that. <laughs> I had to take off the red cap for it because it didn't want to go. Yeah. Hey, Riley. How you doing? How you doing today? Pretty good. What makes you want to be a body man? Um, I don't know. I wanted to start off as a mechanic, and then I just got into body work because the one shop that was teaching me, I wasn't learning enough, so I was like, I need to learn more. Went to a body shop named Mario's, and I was there for about a year, and they taught me a lot. And I just ended up being really good at body work, and I enjoy working with cars. I've always wanted to work with cars my whole life, and I go into work loving it. And the passion, passion for creating. Uh, as of right now, I work at a shop called JH Restorations, and they make cars for SEMA, which is one of the biggest car shows in the world. SEMA. Yeah, so they only do custom cars. The car I'm working on right now is, I forget the name, it's some European rare race car. And where are you going this year? Uh, I just competed for Ontario to win the skills competition. And then on Monday, I go to Quebec to compete for Canada to represent Canada in auto body. 
And as of, right now, yeah, as of right now, I represent Ontario. Congratulations. Thank you. What's your name? Clay. Clay? Clay, what do you have in your hand? I got an oil pan in my hand. And what are you going to do with that oil pan? Put it back on. I just took it off. Are no, you cleaning it? it? No, we were just, uh, just to, you know, get the use of taking it off and understanding it. What makes you want to be a mechanic? Um, cars is one of my biggest interests, and it just makes me happy. And you're a car enthusiast? What's your favorite car? Um, probably like a Viper. Viper? Yeah. Thank you, Clay. Yeah. In the oil pan, you have something called a baffle. To keep you over on the bottom. Because this oil has to be pumped all through the engine, right, Reed? It's going to be pumped through the engine. So it can pick up and get sucked into the pump, filter it, and deliver it to the engine. If you go into a corner really, really hard, because you want to impress one of your buddies, Vehicles is 
I can't see it. I just I can't see that yeah, right now. Down the road, I, I I personally can't see it. And you know what? And I like the, you know the sound, the rumble of the old muscle car, and you know nothing like hearing a big block, you know, rumbling down the road. Yeah. Yes. As opposed to hearing a you know, electric vehicle just kind of well, now they have, riding by. They have a simulator that you can push a button that you can sound like a, a rough motor or a V8 or a V12. Or, you know, I, went, I went to a race, a GP motorcycle race years ago, and they have electric motorcycles now. Oh, yeah. And Harley has electric motorcycles yeah, now. It, yeah, yeah. It's really well, something to, to, like, you don't get the whine of that cross truck anymore. Now you just hear, you only hear the whine of the chain. All you hear is just this, 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 this Sizzling wide of the chain as it rips past the bike past you doing about 180 mile an hour. That's it. Nice. Yeah. What advice would you give to someone to pursue this career? Advice? Uh, well, you know, having a trade is definitely a it's a, it's a benefit to someone for sure. If you can fix your own, repair and maintain your own vehicle, you're gonna be better off. You're gonna save yourself some money. Definitely, you can actually make money in this having a skill that way. Um, I would, I would say, you know, it's a benefit for sure. It really is. Absolutely. Fix your own car. Because, you know, you think a little differently. You start to troubleshoot it. And if you, you can get confidence own, too, right? You know, and if you can fix your own car, you can fix pretty well anything. You can fix your washing machine. You can fix anything because the, the main the, the, the main thoughts of the mechanics of it, the questions you have to ask, are all there. So it doesn't really matter what breaks down. Most of the stuff you can fix if you're a mechanic. Right. Got that mindset. Yeah, everything is either combustible or electric. Yeah. Exactly. Well, thanks for having you on Thank Plug you. and Play Productions. Thank Please you, add and subscribe to my station and hit the notification. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Have you. Please add and subscribe to your Plug and Play Productions.